Zechariah chapter 8. <clears throat> Again, the word of the Lord of hosts came to me saying, the Lord of hosts is the angels. He's the Lord of all the angels, except for a third of them. Still, he's Lord over them. He's the host of all armies, especially of Israel. He even controls the enemy's armies. There's a battle in, in the in the Bible that, you know what, God had him attack them themselves. This is the God that is not the God of evolution. This is the God of all. Of all that he created. You know, it's not in the Bible, but you know, he could he could have the power to say, you know, moon just crash in the earth one day. You know, stop doing that revolution you're doing. God has that power. <clears throat> And thus say the Lord of hosts, twice. I was jealous for Zion. Was jealous. Seventy year captivity took care of that. With great jealousy. Imagine if you were to tell a, a liberal that God is jealous. God is love. Yeah, but if you really got love, and you see your loved one with someone else? You know, that's okay. There's a chapter, and I believe it's in Numbers, that if a husband got jealous for his wife, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Proverbs speaks about a man who, who had his woman commit adultery on him. And he says, you know what? There's no gift. There's nothing. You're going to please that man. Hosea said, Israel, Judah, Jerusalem, was like a whore. Committing adultery. You know, if marriage was really taught on how sacred it is in the Bible... Because God speaks about himself being married to Israel. Married to the 12 tribes of Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham. The Bible speaks about Jesus Christ having a bride. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, Ezra, Nehemiah. And will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem at the temple Ezra builds. And Jerusalem shall be called, uh-oh, a city of truth. Is that what that place is called today? It's called the Dome of the Rock. No, it's, not, it's the Dome of the Rock. You keep saying Dome. No, I know exactly what I'm saying. The Dome of the Rock. The Rock can't speak, can it? Uh -huh. See, you thought something else. My Rock can speak. My rock and rock and roll. My rock and give water. The mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Well, that's not now. That wasn't then. And yet God says, I am returned present tense. There he goes again. He's prophesying in the present that I've already done it. Wow, God, how egotistic that you're going to say something's going to happen in the future and already happened. I mean, God, if he were a fortune cookie, he'd give you the fortune cookie before the meal, during the meal, and after the meal, and it'd be all the same thing. God is so sure of himself that he put it down in black and white. You go back. Zechariah is 518 B.C. Two thousand five hundred years minimal. God has this written down that Hebrews have read it. Greeks have read it. Spaniards have read it. English have read it. 
wherever this Bible in the book of Zechariah has ever been, chapter 8 says, God says, I'm going to do something. Now wait, yeah, I'm going to do it. I've already done it. You want to talk about, you want to put faith on your wall? You want to put faith on your keychain? You are putting all your trust in a God that says, I said I'm going to do it. I've done it already. And I haven't done it. You want to try that with a Pope? You want to try that with Mr. Smith? Jean Dixon? She didn't even know when she was going to die. You know, the biggest joke is, I, I love it, that I hope this place never disappears in Daytona Beach, right next to the uh, the Popeyes. There's a storefront there, I think it's there, and it used to be a psychic. No, actually, it's up further. It used to be a psychic, and yet it's closed and it says for rent. Lady, I'm supposed to pay you, you didn't even know you were going to survive in business? Hope everybody had their receipts to get their money back. And yet God can set his word. Not a storefront. He can set his word and say, it's going to happen. It's already happened. In the eyes of God, the Bible says God has already seen the future. And he writes backwards. You know what Hebrew is? Hebrew is, is read right to left. Americans always do it wrong. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet future. But he says, I am returned to Zion. How'd you like to have me get up before, get a job to preach or to teach, be an instructor at Daytona State College, and I walk in a classroom, okay, class, open up your, your books, Zechariah chapter 8, let's do 3 and 4. They would flip their wigs. They would be totally, what on earth are you talking about? Now, tomorrow's class, we'll talk about the prophecy of the Pope. Peace. There's no peace. Peace to all men. There is no peace. Peace to the country. There is no peace. Peace. There is no peace. Peace. The Bible says there is no peace to the evil man. There is no peace to the wicked man. Shut up, you liar. Jehovah Witness, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Will you knock it off? You got the dates wrong. You are a false prophet. You are a deceiver. God is not. 48 prophecies concerning Jesus Christ from his pre-birth that his mother would be a virgin. That's even before the town is born. Uh, wait a minute. Let, let, let's look at the impossibilities here. Your daughter comes home. Mom, I'm pregnant. <gasps> Who you been fooling around with? Absolutely nobody. You going to trust her? Normal circumstances. You going to say, I didn't have any, no relations with anybody. Are you going to trust her? And yet, Mary had no relations with with anybody and produced a baby what are the odds of that prophecy happening never mind the other 47 I mean, that was the stone, right? if she would be found guilty and joseph tried to have her put away privily because he didn't have no proof there was no man he could bring because remember the bible said you had to bring the adulterer and the adulteress and the Holy Spirit spoke to him. Now, come on. What are the odds outside of science and test tubes? Because you still need a male. That'd be me like saying tomorrow there's going to be a lesbian couple. They're going to have a baby tomorrow. Be born at 2 o'clock. Absolutely impossibility. But that virgin birth, that, I mean, that is, what, I don't even know if there are odds for that. And God told him it was going to happen. All right, next. He'll be born in a particular city. 
You mean out of the 12 tribes of the land of Israel? Let's get, let's take the 12 tribes. One out of 12. I don't know. I don't know anything about betting or anything like that. I don't know if a guy would take that bet. Maybe one horse out of 12 horses. I don't know how many horses are. Okay, okay, we'll take that one. But it wouldn't be the firstborn son, Reuben. Uh-oh. It sure it wouldn't be the priest class, Levi. Uh-oh. And it wasn't going to be Joseph, the other firstborn. Uh-oh. You just scratch four. I'm talking about the prophecy of God. You just scratch four horses. Because those would be your main pick. All right, Judah. Okay, that's fine. But in Judah, there's three children. Judah, Benjamin, and Simeon. Uh-oh. We just added three more horses to the race. You know what I mean? Cities were in Benjamin. You got to go back and, and look in Joshua. There was a lot of them. One particular city. One particular woman. Without a man. And thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem. That's how, yeah, that's happening today. There are. every And every man with his staff in his hand for very age. Maybe, yeah, true. But God said yet. Oh, Prophecy. There are old men and old women in Jerusalem. Jesus is coming back. Jesus said, yet. Yeah. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls. See? Yeah, look at that. And playing in the streets thereof. Oh, look at that. See, little boys and girls are supposed to play. Do you want me to put the wet blanket on that one now or wait till later? Because when you go with scripture with scripture, there's two possibilities for that playing. And it's not toys. And you know, I just thought of another verse. Let me get this out so I don't lose it. I can lose it. Jesus said, talking about John the Baptist, said, the children said, we piped onto you and you didn't dance. Lord, just show me that. Now, playing in the Bible, music. Wow, I got it right better. First or Second Samuel sixteen eighteen, First Chronicles fifteen twenty nine, Psalm sixty eight twenty five. They are singing. They are playing music. What is going on in the millennium that we've read so far through all these prophets? They're praising the Lord. They're not playing with dolls. The children are striking up the band. As David done when, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. When Michael looked out the window and saw David dancing, dancing and what else did it say? Playing. There could be another, there could be another chance for playing too. I didn't write the verses down. You can search on your own. It could be also playing the whore. There's two times in the Bible for that. I don't think this is what, I don't think it's that one. When you look up the word playing in the Bible, it's playing music, singing, rejoicing in the Lord as the prophets have spoken. Jesus spoke about the children playing and, and then you can play the whore. I don't think it's that one, but that's another playing in the Bible. See, there's too much entertainment, too much playing the children, and now it's in the churches. Let's pin the rod on Moses. It's not, it's not trick or treat, it's trunk or trees. Hey, if you say your memory verses, we'll give you a crown and a reward. Whoa. Would you like to come up and meet the Christian magician? We're playing games in Sunday school. 
Or if you ain't got nothing to do with Sunday school, if you're going to be biblical, try to figure out what children can play an instrument or, or, or maybe learn an instrument and help them play for the Lord. I would take that boys and girls playing and with the references running the Bible, I would say have a children's choir. How about that? You ever hear the, uh, what, I forget, the, the, the New York children's group there? Manhattan? Uh, man, they can sing good. I hope they're all saved. I hope when they do sing, they, the Lord is happy. Now, what do you think the Lord would be happy with? With a child playing with Matchbox and a girl playing with Barbie or praising the Lord God? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people, in these days, uh-oh, see, five wasn't now. Shouldn't it also be marvelous in my eyes, saith the Lord of hosts? All right, it's going on during Zechariah's time, too. But is the Lord really there? Did you read Nehemiah? They got mixed marriages. They can't even speak Hebrew. Boy, I was going to make a comment about me. Oh, boy. Wow, I'm so out. Phew, I would have been thrown. Can't say that. I'm going to watch that word. Used to be popular on television, but I can't say it anymore. Used to be said by a colored man, but no. About a certain race. Uh, no, no, no. I couldn't say anything about Mr. Jefferson. Only certain people know what I just said. So, if this would be wonderful, Zacharias, then what would it be so wonderful, Jesus Christ sitting on the throne looking at him? Then a bunch of people came up to Jesus and say, Hey, would you take my child on your knees? Didn't that please him? I try to say when I'm when I'm preaching on the street downtown. If I see somebody with children, no matter what I'm preaching, I try to throw out there, suffer the little children to come on to Jesus. That's Bible. I am telling those parents, you're supposed to bring those children to Jesus. These children are coming on their own. The old people are walking on their staff to Jesus. They're not going to bingo. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, I will save my people, oh, that's a clue, from the east country, Persia. Okay, they've left, but there's still Jews in Persia, in Zechariah. They all didn't go back. And from the west country, and I would assume that would be the Palestine. I'm assumption there. Because anything else of it, west of Israel would be Tyre or the Mediterranean Sea. So I'm going to assume and stick my neck out and say the Philistines. And if I'm wrong, I ask you to put it under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and cleanse me. I will bring them. And they will they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And they shall be my people. Is that today? I will be their God. Is that today? In truth, is that today? And in righteousness. Who's the Bible say truth is? Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's not today. Righteousness. You know who my righteousness is? It's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not there today. He will be. Prophecy. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. You see how that keeps coming up. Let your head, hands be strong, ye that hear these days, these words, by the mouth of the prophets. We've been reading them. Which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid. This is Zechariah's time. We just read those prophets. That the temple might be built. Now we've gone back in the little past. Doesn't look like it's chronicle order. The Bible does do that. You find it in books too. You know, they'll go back into, you know, the uh, back, here you go, you know, the television. Uh, you go back in time. How come Shakespeare can do it, but God can't? 
For before these days, there was no hire for man. There was no job. Nor any hire for beasts. You couldn't even get a job for your beast. Neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction. The Seventy years. They were not getting jobs. They couldn't even hire out their animals. For I, God, set all men, every one against his neighbor. Is that the God of love that just said that I don't put unity? You know why the blacks are against the whites, the whites against the blacks, and everybody's against the Spaniards, everybody's against the Mexican, and the Mexicans are against uh, Trump, and Trump is against all these? You know why they're all like that today in America? Because we are against God. I have no problem being in a church that someone is saved, that, that loves the book, loves the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what nationality you are. I will pray for you just as much as anybody else. But if you're going to steal my paycheck, you're going to raise children. You're going to make children that you're not going to raise. You're going to write. And I've got some choice names for you. And I will call those same names to a white man, to a Hispanic, to anybody who acts the same, regardless of race, color, or sex. We are in a race, sexual, uh, hard to figure about that one, or whatever the thing is, we are in this mixed bag of, of hurt feelings and offended me because we are against God. We've got now states that are fighting Washington, D.C. today. And how is Washington, D.C. going to solve that war, the next civil war? We're going to put your daughters to a draft. Because the men are not men. They don't even know what bathroom they use. Think we're going to trust them on a battlefield? They don't know what bathroom they use? But now, I will not be unto the residue of this people, as in the former days, saith the Lord. Hold on, listen, things have changed. You've got a burden on your back, and it's your fault. What's that scar? That's something I shouldn't have done. What's that tattoo? That's something I shouldn't have done. What's that lung cancer? That's something I shouldn't have done. What's that cirrhosis of the liver? That's something I shouldn't have done. What's that extra child, that bastard there? That's something I shouldn't have done. Lord, get rid of it. And God will tell you, no. That's baggage. It's sin. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that ye shall also reap. You're not coming out of Babylon spricking clean. You know how many children Nehemiah sent away saying, listen, you got to forbid those, those marriages. What happened to those women? What happened to those children? After they say, you know what, we're going to get rid of them. Something happened to happen to them. For the seed shall be prosperous. Jewish seed. In the last chapter of Nehemiah. The vine shall give her fruit. Ooh, fruitful. Wine, grapes, raisins. The ground shall give her increase. That's not what you read in Jeremiah. That's not what you read in Lamentations. That's not what you read in Ezekiel. The heavens will, shall give their due. And I will cause the remnant of this people to pe possess all these things. And then they lose it 70 AD. So it's got to be future. And it shall come to pass that as ye were a curse among the heathen, the house of Judah and the house of Israel, that's not today, so will I save you, that's not today, and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. You're going to have to work. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, as I thought to punish you, Babylon, when your fathers provoked me to wrath under Jeremiah, saith the Lord of hosts, and I, God, repented not. I didn't stop them from coming and destroying Judah and Jerusalem, did I?
God of love. Really? He beat their butt, and Proverbs says, if you don't do that, you don't love your child. So I guess he is the God of love. Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Minnegal got right, didn't they? Ezra, Nehemiah got right, didn't they? Zechariah got right, didn't he? These are all people that were in the captivity. So again, I have thought in these days to do well unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah, fear ye not. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak every man the truth to his neighbor. That's not going on with the churches. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. They don't. The Pharisees, when, when the woman come in with the alabaster, if you knew that sinner, you wouldn't even be talking to her. Sound like you're judging. Your disciples are, are picking grains and rubbing them in their hands. You're not supposed to do that. That's not proper judgment. Well, what we'll do is we'll, we'll pay this woman to commit adultery. Then we'll bring her to Jesus and see what he will do. Hey, how about we'll ask Jesus, do you pay taxes? What are we supposed to do about taxes? That's not proper judgment. And let none of your, let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. How many times has that shown up? We've talked about that over and over. Don't even think about it. And if you think about it, you better put it under the blood. You look at that woman in that bikini, you better say, Lord, I just committed adultery. That's what Jesus said. Oh, I'm going to kill that boss. You better repent of being a murderer. Well, you know, you see that box of stuff over there? The company makes so much money. If I take that box over, now you may not take that box, but you're a thief. Well, I don't have to work on Sunday, but if I go to work Sunday, I'll get some extra money. It'll be okay if I skip church. Yeah? You thought about it. You still may end up in church, but you're... You better confess your thoughts. And love no false oath. <laughs> go to any court courtroom in America. Watch those courtroom television programs. The real ones. False oath. And for all these things that I hate. Oh God, your soul. Say, look, does God hate anything? He hates your imaginations. If they're evil, he hates your false oath. You know all the false oath, oaths that the priests and the Nazis together in World War II put together? Bless you, my child. God says, shut up, I hate you. The word of the Lord of hosts came unto me, saying, This chapter, God is just speaking to Zechariah. You ever wonder how it sounded? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Again, the fast of the fourth month, and the fast of the fifth, we already talked about this, and the fast of the seventh. And the fast of the tenth. Aren't you glad you're under grace? What if you didn't feel like fasting that month? What if your welfare check came in and you had extra money in the welfare? Ah, oops, sorry. What if you just didn't feel like it? You know? You're hungry. What if during that month you've been in the hospital for half a month? And you got to go home and, oh, no, I mean, it's, it's the fast. <laughs> Shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness. Have you ever fasted? Your body is not happy. Your body starts, you're going to die. I am not going to die. Yes, you are. Man, if you don't get me no water, I, that's it. We're dying. You smell that? Doesn't that just smell so good? You get your body talking to you. And then you think you got, you know, 
I'm going to battle Satan and all that. No, you bow to your body when you say, you know what, Lord, for you, I'm not going to eat anything. And you see what your, what your stomach will do to your brain. It won't leave you alone. And a cheerful feast. Yes. Therefore, love the truth and peace. Those are attributes of Jesus Christ. So if you want the love of God, you got the love of Jesus. Thus say the Lord of hosts, it shall, come to, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come people and the inhabitants of many cities. And the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go off. That's not today. Daytona Beach goes goes up to Port Orange. Hey, let's go serve the Lord. Yeah, right. Let's do that during Bikers Week. Let's do that during Spring Vacation. Let's go seek the Lord. See how long they try to keep you preachers out. Yay. Many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. So what do people do? We go for a holy pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Is Jesus there? There's a bunch of people wearing black over there. There's a bunch of people riding camels over there. And they all hate the Jews. Holy Land? I've seen pictures of the Holy Land. If that's the Holy Land, God's a failure. Because I read in my Bible in Numbers that when those spies came back, they needed two men to carry a cluster of grapes. Now that's my God. That's my God. Satan will give you dearth and famine. For the sin that he will have you to do. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Now, this is this is truly, truly future. In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all the languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that's a Jew. <laughs> Try that at Vishmiel. Try that of a Roman Catholic. Try that with the Mormons. Try that with the Jehovah Witness. <laughs> oh, we will go with you. <laughs> That's funny. For we have heard, and this is definitely future, that God is with you. One day, them Jews are going to be the top of all the top. And everyone that hated them will be in a lake of fire that burns forever. I don't think God's finished with the Jews. I think God's the God of prophecy. And if he says, if you don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to hell. You better put your lock, stock, and barrel in that what he said rather than if you do penance if you go to this church if you say this prayer if you be baptized if you blah 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 you better trust in the blood because the god of 100 percent properly said it's calvary satan says anything else and satan doesn't know nothing because he walked up to jesus one day and said hey you bow down before me, I'll give you all this. He didn't even know that Jesus owned it all. How's that? 